Hello everyone, I'm Megan Sullivan, the creator of History and Games, and welcome to another Animal Crossing Real Life Origins video. In my last two videos, I talked about the real life origins of Tom Nook, a tanuki with a heart of gold, and Anka, a snooty cat who turns out to be smarter and cooler than you'd think. Today I want to talk about two other lovable characters, Coco and Lloyd. Why? Because they're both cute, spooky, and unique. And with that, we'll start with Coco. Now Coco is a bit of an unusual character. Sure, she looks like a bunny, but you'll notice something is a bit off about her. She seems a little stiff and a little, uh, void. Well, that's because she's not actually an animal. But if that's the case, then what is Coco? Well, as it turns out, Coco is what's called a Haniwa, an ancient funerary statue from the Yayoi period of Japan. In fact, Coco's name in Japanese isn't Coco, like a chocolate bunny or a coconut, although the fruit she vaguely resembles does have an association with death, as its skull-like appearance is named after Coco, the death-dealing creature of Latin American lore. Coco's Japanese name is Yayoi, a reference to the time period that Haniwa started to appear in ancient Japan. Not only that, but Yayoi's Japanese catchphrase is Hanyo, perhaps a clever play on Haniwa, in which the last syllable wa, which in this case means circle, wheel, or ring, and shares the same sound as both the topic marker wa and the feminine ending particle wa, is replaced by the more declarative ending particle of yo, as if Yayoi is telling you that yo, she's made out of honey, clay. In other words, Haniwa means rings of clay, a nod to the method used to create these beautiful pieces of unglazed terracotta pottery. Haniwa were made using a pottery wheel, where coils of clay were piled on top of each other and put in some sort of kiln to bake. These unique figures started to appear sometime in the late Yayoi period, around 300 AD, but were originally simple shapes like stands and cylinders. As time passed, however, these figures became more sophisticated and were made into a variety of shapes like birds, horses, dogs, wild boar, deer, cattle, monkeys, flying squirrels, and even fish. But no bunny rabbits that I could see, so I guess Yayoi, or Coco, is pretty unique. But if she's a statue, what is her purpose? Well, we know Haniwa had some sort of function associated with funerary rites, because archaeologists usually find them atop old tombs known as Kofun. These tombs actually give their name to the Kofun era, the time period that followed the Yayoi era when Japanese history started to come more sharply into focus, and Haniwa became more sophisticated. But there's no writing in Japan at this time, so there's no way to know, say, why exactly Kofun burial mounds are shaped like a key, or perhaps an ancient type of bell that originated in the Yayoi period, or why they're lined with these beautiful, haunting clay figures. Some historians think that they're meant to guard the dead from both grave robbers and evil spirits. Others think they act as boundary markers for the burial site, and still others think that because Haniwa are hollow inside, they're used as a place for spirits to reside. We do have one interesting mention of Haniwa in history or pseudo-history that might hint at a different purpose. A passage from the Nihon Shoki mentions that the Emperor Suinen issued an imperial edict decreeing that instead of burying retainers alive around the tomb of a prince, the clay figures, Haniwa, also called tatemono, or things set up, would be used instead. By the way, tatemono also means building in Japanese, and there are Haniwa in the shape of buildings. Whatever the case, it was obviously important to people's spiritual well-being to have these figures near their burial site. And so a veritable clay army, literally some of these figurines are actually clay soldiers, lined burial mounds to see the dead off and protect them. And maybe that's why Coco is so nice. She's your friend and wants to keep you company and protect you. That's her job, which makes her so pleasant to be around, despite her somewhat ancient and morbid origins. And you can see these origins in her home decor. For example, the gabled exterior of Coco's house with its thatched roof looks like the type of buildings constructed during the Yayoi period, and inside, it has distinct stone walls. During the Kofun era, coffins were put in the Yokoanashiki Sekishitsu, that is a special and sometimes colorfully decorated stone chamber inside the tomb. And in previous Animal Crossing games, Coco's house is furnished with funerary items, including bonfire pillars and screens in which mourners prayed behind, although these Buddhist-like associations post-date the Yayoi period. 
She also has what seems to be clay pottery, which could act as urns, or what could be funerary jars which were used during the Yayoi period. Oh, and if you give Coco, aka Yayoi, a stereo, it will play KK Dirge, which is appropriate given the funerary functions of a Haniwa. It's also interesting to note that like Anka, Coco wants to be an astronaut, perhaps because it's a metaphor for the soul transitioning to someplace better. And this matches ancient Japanese beliefs as well. On the back wall of a stone chamber in the Mezurashisuka burial mound in Fukuoka prefecture, the drawing of the sun, moon, and birds resting on a boat may represent the transporting of spirits from this world to the next. But then again, unlike Anka, Koko is afraid of mummies, and maybe that's because they represent the restless dead, the opposite of the soul or souls Koko is meant to protect, keep company, or even play host to. And finally, the most interesting fact about Yayoi or Koko is that she can write backwards, which is sometimes called mirror writing, and in some cultures has a spiritual connotation. Mirrors themselves were important items in the Yayoi period, both for their prestige, as they were rare and expensive, and their spiritual and religious value. In other words, Koko or Yayoi is very much associated with her ancient roots, even in terms of her decor. By the way, as I hinted earlier, Koko is not the only Haniwa in the game. The most ubiquitous Haniwa-based characters are actually the gyroids, who greatly resemble the most famous type of Haniwa, the dancing Haniwa, in which the depicted dancers might be performing a religious dance to drive away evil spirits, therefore making them extremely important Haniwa and the gyroids' dance movements very appropriate. Now in Animal Crossing, gyroids usually act as collectible furniture decorations that can be found by digging them out of the ground after a rainy or snowy day, which may be an eerie reference as to how graves are sometimes exposed after a deluge of wet weather. But in New Horizons, the only visible gyroid seems to be Lloyd, who helps with construction work on your island. But actually, that's appropriate, since Haniwa were built for funeral mounds that had to be constructed from the earth. Thus, Lloyd is pretty on brand. Now you might have noticed that Yayoi and Lloyd are kind of devoid of color, but fun fact, some Haniwa figures were decorated with geometric patterns and pigments of white, red, and blue. At least one of these colors, red, was thought to have magical properties and offer spiritual protection, as evidenced by the Yayoi practice of painting the bones of the dead with red ochre for the purpose of secondary burial, usually carried out by placing the bones in a special funerary jar which I mentioned a little earlier. This association between the color red and magic actually stretches back to Japan's earliest historical period, the Jomon era, and even today acts as a protective color that you can see in places like Shinto shrines. Now, is it a little spooky and supernatural that Haniwa, funerary objects that have a literally haunting quality about them, are featured in this kid-friendly series? Yeah, a little. But then again, they're a huge part of Japanese culture and are rightly celebrated as such and you can see them in other video games as well. Other Haniwa type figures that appear in video games include Kakdor from Final Fantasy, Earth Warriors in Dragon Quest, Cappies in Kirby, and they're even briefly featured in Persona 4 Golden. Pretty cool, huh? So that's the story of Coco and Lloyd. Who's your favorite character in Animal Crossing? Who do you think deserves to be part of a history lesson? Let us know in the comments below, and for Animal Crossing updates and news, keep it locked here on Meg Sullivan.